hello guys welcome back once again in this part we will retype our expense data and set inside our recycler view so first change this return and add view class is equal to my view and now we need to return our my view now in here we need to add our firebase database so private firebase auth is going to be a mod. in here we need to do exactly same that we did for our income fragment so private database reference is going to be m expense data database and in here we can add m auth is equal to firebase auth dot get instance and now this firebase user and create m user is equal to this auth dot get current user and now create a string variable a string uid is going to be m user dot get uid now this m expand database firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and in here we need to add our expense database name so make sure that we added the same name and dot child and this child is going to be our uid and now add firebase recycler view now we need to add our recycler view so open up our fragment and we need same design for our expense manager for our exp for our expense fragment so copy from income fragment and paste it here and add it to it linear layout and now we can see all this required field so now add orientation vertical and now we can see so we just need to copy from our income income fragment and paste it to our expense fragment because we need to add same design so we added a card view and we added a recycler view okay that we design for our income fragment and inside this expense fragment we can see and we can change this id and instead of income we need to call it expense and for second text view and change the id name to expense text result and for recycler view change the id name we can call it recycler id expense we can use same id but i just want to change it and now again open expense fragment now recycler view private recycler view is going to be recycler view and this recycler view is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot recycler id expense now linear layout manager layout manager is equal to new linear layout manager and to get activity and layout manager dot set is stuck from int true and layout manager dot set reverse layout true and for recycler view we need to add recycler view dot set has fixed size true and recycler view dot set layout manager and this layout manager is going to be our layout manager that is the object of linear layout manager so set layout manager is going to be layout manager and i think we added all this field all this required field now we need to open our on a start method and inside and after that we can create a cl class so private a static class and we can call it my view holder extends recycler view dot view holder and now create a constructor of this class and again we need to add our view class so view and create object of view m view and this m view is going to be is equal to item view and now we need to add our method so private void set date we can call it string date at text view is going to be m date is equal to m view dot find view by id r dot id dot dot text expense now this m date dot set text to this date another method for private void set type and parameter is string is string is going to be type at a text view and this time is m type is equal to m view dot find view by id r dot id dot type text expense 
now m type dot set text is going to be this type and private void set note sting note and text view is going to be m note is equal to m view dot find view by id r dot id dot note text expense and this m node is going to be set text is going to be note and we need to add another method for our amount so private void set amount and we can call it as parameter integer and amount add text view and we can call it m amount is equal to m view dot find view by id r dot id dot amount text expense and this m amount dot first we need to convert this one to string so string so string dot value value of and our amount and now we can set our data so m amount dot set text and this one for this string amount so we converted our integer to our string because we want to set this inside our text view now we need to add our recycler fire with recycler adapter inside our honested method so now fire with recycler adapter first parameter is our model class data and second one is our class name and create object you can call it adapter and new fire waste recycler adapter and now in here and now we can write here our model class name second parameter is going to be r dot layout dot our expense recycler data and last one is going to be our class and last one is going to be our database name and this view holder dot get date is going to be model dot get date view holder dot set type is going to be model dot get type and this view holder dot set amount set note is going to be model dot get note and this view holder dot set amount is going to be model dot get amount so we set all this method inside our view holder and now we can set our recycler view we can set this adapter with our recycler view so recycler view dot set adapter adapter so now i think all done hopefully we will be able to see our data so now hit this run button so here is our apps and inside our income so this is a dashboard and income fragment we can see five data and in expense we can see only one data that means we successfully retrieve our expense data from firebase database but we did not count all this expense yet so we need to add so we need to count it so let's add some more data so we can call it amount fifty type is going to be we can call it just add few random text and click save and if we click if you open expense then we can see our data so here is our income and this one is our expense fragment So now we need to so we need to add summation of all these expense value so first we need to add our text view where we want to uh, where we want to set our data so private text view is going to be expense sum result And we need to connect it so expense sum result 
is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot and what was the id name id name was open this fragment expense and our id name is which one is our id name and to open this id so we can copy we can copy this id so copy this id and paste it here Now in here we need to add add value event listener. So m expense database dot add value event listener dot add value event listener new value event listener and it will give us two method one is on data change and one it on cancel so we need to work with on data change and in here we need to we need to do for each loop for retrieve and for count all this amount of expense database so how can you do it in our previous tutorial, we saw already it. So for data snapshot, so for data snapshot, and we can call it, and and we can call it my snapshot. So my snapshot, and this data snapshot dot get children. And uh, we need to add data snapshot dot get children and first create a object of our model class so data is going to be data is equal to my snapshot dot get value my snapshot dot get value So we can call it my snapshot dot get value and okay we need to add a child get children so data snapshot dot get children okay now I think it's perfect and inside this get value parameter we need to add our model class so data dot class so data dot class Now we need to create a integer variable and inside our integer variable we will store our total amount of expense one by one. So integer we can call it expense sum is equal to which I would like to start it from zero and then we will count all this data one by one so now this expense sum now this expense sum plus is equal to plus is equal and and we can call data dot get amount 
so we are getting all this amount from our model class from our firebase database and we store all this data one by one inside our integer variable and we started it count from zero so first value will be get zero then we will add one more one more one more and this way total sum will count and it will be stored inside this integer variable now we need to change this integer to string because we need to set this string value set this amount inside our text view so create a string variable we can call it string str we can call it expense we can call it string expense sum is equal to string dot value of and we can call it this expense sum and now we can set this string data to our expense text view where we want to show total result so what was the name of this text view Now this expense sum result dot set text is going to be str expense sum. So we set our data. Now run these apps once again and to open it again. So here is our apps and this one is for our income fragment and we can see and it's take time because maybe net is slow. so go to dashboard fragment and go to income fragment and go to expense fragment but we can't see our data maybe we need to wait so now we can see our income data and total sum and we can see our expense data and our total sum so 850 is going to be 850 and we can see our data and recycle our view so we can add few more expense data and we can add amount We can get 50 and we can add and we can add our note and save so this one is our income no changes here and if you open our expense fragment then we can see our data is changed and data new data is at and our sum is on and our sum is increased so if you open from here we can see our income and if you open here we can see our dashboard so i think all functionality done perfectly